Ebidoye. You're welcome to the Daily News Update on Remo TV. I am Emmanuel Ebidoye. First, the headlines. Dangote refineries delay sparks concerns. Telecom services are at risk as 800 workers embark on strike. Falcon is ready for Japan showdown in Colombia. Rema Ashake on Mali to headline Promised Land Festival. Let's go on a short break and we will be right back. expressing concerns about the delay in announcing the price of petrol produced by Dangote Petroleum Refinery. With the landing cost of imported petrol now at 1,120 naira per litre, marketers fear that a high price from Dangote could lead to increased importation of the commodity. The national president of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Abubakar Maigandi stated that IP Man is discussing with foreign partners to import petrol, awaiting Dangote's price announcement. He emphasized that the high price from Dangote would lead to massive importation. Meanwhile, a Dangote group official assured that the company will sell petrol locally, regardless of NNPC's decision aiming to beat down prices. The NNPC has clarified that it will only fully offtake petrol from Dangote if market prices are higher than pump prices in Nigeria. This indicates that NNPC is not ready to stop importation and talks between the two companies appear to have collapsed. A potential communication blackout looms in Nigeria as approximately 800 workers from the private telecommunications and communications senior staff association have begun a strike. The union, comprising mainly contract staff, is demanding recognition, improved working conditions, and the restatement of sacked workers. With critical infrastructure like base stations at risk of disruption, millions of subscribers may face service outages. The strike, which started on Monday, involves field maintenance engineers, transmission engineers, customer service engineers, and other critical staff working for telecom service companies. The Union Secretary General, Abdullahi, warned that the implications of the strike would be massive, with subscribers in affected areas likely to experience outages. The Ministry of Labor has acknowledged the workers' concerns and is working to resolve the issues promptly. On Sport News, Nigerians under 20 women's football team are set to face Japan in a crucial round of 16 clash at the Estadio Metropolitano de Teco in Bogota, Colombia on Friday morning. According to head coach Chris Danjuma, the team is battery ready for the encounter. Despite Japan topping Group E with 9 points, Danjuma expressed confidence in his team's abilities, stating the girls have worked very hard to get to this stage and we are proud of their efforts, he added. We will be taking the knockout stages one match at a time. The Falconet arrived in Bogota on Tuesday, and Danjima is excited about the prospects of facing Japan. With a strong showing in the group stages, the Nigerian team is looking to advance to the next round. <music> on entertainment news, Rema Ashake Omale will be headlining the 2024 Promised Land Festival in Australia. The three-day festival scheduled for October 4 to 6, 2024 at the Gold Coast promises to be an unforgettable experience. Rema is set to take the stage on October 5th alongside international artists Georgia Smith, Fiji and Miguel. Meanwhile, Omali and Ashake will close out the festival on October 6th, sharing the stage with legendary rapper Buster Rhymes. Other notable performers include Tiwa Savage, Vic Tony, Ruga, BNXN, and Charlie Poppy, among others. And that's it on today's news update on Remo TV. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms at Official Remo TV. 
on Facebook, X, Thread, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Imanu Abitoye. Thank you for listening. Bye.